Hey, could I say something about Carrie Lake, you guys? Yeah, yes, please. Please, yeah. we, we please say something on Carrie okay. Lake. Uh, look, I covered Carrie Lake for the better part of the last year and a half here. And I think it was perhaps fitting to be here across from Mar-a-Lago today. I finally flew yesterday from Arizona here. And essentially, though, I felt like it was covering Donald Trump's campaign of 2024, but in Arizona over the last year. She predicated her campaign on trying to sell the big lie. When she wonders how she lost this race, look at it. This is the third election cycle in a row in which Arizonans rejected Trumpism. In the final week of her campaign, who did she campaign? campaign alongside. She campaigned alongside Steve Bannon. She campaigned alongside one of the chief promoters of Pizzagate. She campaigned alongside an individual who promoted the notion of the war on white people. This is an individual who just last week called her Democratic opponent a pervert. Criminal charges against individuals who oversaw COVID response in 2020 in Arizona. This is an individual who's celebrating putting a dagger into the quote, the McCain machine. She asserted that Cindy McCain wants to end America. She called Mike Lindell one of the great great patriots of our time. She said Dinesh D'Souza is one of the greatest patriots in America. She suggested Paul Gosar was the kind of lawmaker our founding fathers envisioned. She called the media the right hand of the devil, the scourge of the earth. If that doesn't sound like Donald Trump, I don't know what does. Okay, I didn't think he was going to go that hard, but I'm here for it. And ultimately, the big question was, was she going to be able to make that sell here? And the answer is no, according to Arizona voters. And when you look at that slate of election deniers, from Tudor Dixon to Tim Michaels uh, to uh, Jim Marchant in Nevada to Mark Fincham, she was the latest one to fall, essentially making it a clean sweep of those not only right. election denier gubernatorial candidates and secretary of state candidates. And now Donald right. Trump is going to go and try to run on the very message that all these folks lost on. And he's absolutely spot on. Kerry Lake tried to echo Trump's rhetoric and it cost her the election. But it wasn't just her that suffered as a result of pushing these extreme election denying, conspiratorial, democracy destroying talking points. Across the board, we witnessed a brutal rejection of MAGA election deniers in competitive areas, especially swing states. In governor's races, we have Kerry Lake in Arizona, Tudor Dixon in Michigan, and Doug Mastriano in Pennsylvania. For Secretary of State, there's Mark Fincham in Arizona, Christina Caramo in Michigan, and Jim Marchant in Nevada. And for the Senate, Blake Masters in Arizona, and Don Bolduc in New Hampshire. And last but not least, in the House, Joe Kent and John Gibbs. And so, recently with Kerry Lake, as is par for the course, she won't concede and is instead kicking and screaming on Fox News, claiming that the election, of course, was botched or rigged where it was botched, where the machines didn't work in more than a third of the polling centers, just six hours off to vote. It's outrageous what happened. We had lines that were three and four hours long in retirement areas where people were old. And all of this happened in Republican areas. My area where I was going to vote, the printer didn't work. There wasn't enough toner in the printer. So I went to a liberal part of town and got right in and out in about 15 minutes. It's funny how that works in Arizona. Yeah, I mean, if Katie's... But the thing is, it won't change the results. Not only have those very same tactics cost her the election, it cost the GOP control of the Arizona state government for the first time since 2009. If they want to wallow in their sorrow and they want to, like, come up with excuses, good. Live with that and move on. Uh, we won. Time to, you know, like, you know, deal with reality. And the only thing sweeter than that is either the shade thrown by Liz Cheney, who Carrie Lake attacked in a smug letter early in her campaign in which she claimed that Liz Cheney telling people not to vote for Carrie Lake actually helped boost her campaign, which wasn't true. Or just this morning, former press secretary Jen Psaki proving that Psaki bombs are not just reserved for the podium. We drove a stake through the heart of the McCain machine. I don't know, Jen Psaki, feel like maybe you could have <laughs> used a few of those votes from those people that you drove the stake through. Right, I mean, it turns out, Chris, that Arizona, people of Arizona, still like the war hero who proudly served for decades and died heroically of cancer while saving the Affordable Care Act. People still like him. So, yes, I mean, it is clear that she misjudged that. Criminal charges against individuals who oversaw COVID response in 2020 in Arizona. This is an individual who's celebrating putting a dagger into the, quote, the McCain machine. She asserted that Cindy McCain wants to end America. She called Mike Lindell one of the great patriots of our time. She was 
was the latest one to fall, essentially making it a clean sweep of those not only right. election denier gubernatorial candidates and secretary of state candidates. And now Donald right. Trump is going to go and try to run on the very message that all these folks lost on. Midas Touch is unapologetically pro-democracy. And look, we know you are too. So please make sure you check out our best-selling shirt and our best-selling gear, the unapologetically pro-democracy gear. And hey, while you're at it, make sure you check out my favorite shirt and one of our most famous designs. It wasn't rigged, you're just a loser. At store.midastouch.com. That's store.midastouch.com.